video we are going to solve a problem to determine the transfer function of a closed loop control system using the block diagram production technique and the block diagram of the control system is given to us in the question so let's solve this problem So this is our problem. Here we have to find out two ratios C by R and C by E and the total output for the system. So we have to find these three things in the question. So let's solve this problem. First we will find the ratio C by R. So when we are finding this ratio C by R, assume that this E, it is equal to 0. So for C by R, you, we will assume that E input is equal to 0. So let's draw the block diagram after assuming this E equals to 0. So we have assumed E equals to 0. So we will just have this summing point and this the input, the summing point will be eliminated and the output of this block will go to direct G3. Okay. Now let's shift this. So we, we can see that this G3 H2, that, uh, this is in feedback. This is forming a feedback loop. So let's eliminate this feedback loop by applying the feedback rule. Because it was a negative feedback loop, so its transfer function will be G3 upon 1 plus G3 H2. So this is what we have obtained. Now you can see that these two blocks G1 and G2 they are in parallel combination and G3 upon 1 plus G3 H2 and G4 they are in series. So we can replace these two blocks with a single 
block having the transfer function g1 plus g2 and these two transfer functions will be multiplied so let's apply this now when we do this these two blocks they will come in series so their transfer function will be multiplied and they the block which comes here it will form a feedback loop with h1 so first reduce these two blocks into a single block okay now these two they are forming the feedback loop so we can reduce them into a single block having the transfer function suppose that this g it is given by g equivalent so we will have here g equivalent and here we are having h1 and g equivalent is given by g3 g4 so this is the value of g equivalent and uh, they are forming the feedback loop so their resultant transfer function that is the ratio of c by r is given by so this is the ratio of c by r and we can put the value of g equivalent into it so we will get c by r as these two denominators they will be cancelled out because they are same so we will get 1 plus so the ratio which we want first ratio that is c by r will be So we have find out the first ratio that is the C by R and now we have to find out the next ratio that is C by E. So for finding C by R we have assumed that the input E it is equals to 0. So if you want to find out C by E then we have to assume that the input R it is equals to 0 okay for both the ratios we are first we are assuming e equals to 0 and for the next time we are assuming that r is equals to 0 so let's see what will be the modification in the block diagram if we assume r equals to 0 our question was this and in this we have to assume now we have to find out c by e so we will assume r equals to 0 so let's put a hand on it so we will see that this h1 input it will be directly given to the block g1 and here we are having negative sign so this negative sign will come with the block having the transfer function h1 so it will become minus h1 so you have to assume that r is equals to 0 and then apply the rules of the block diagram reduction technique and try to solve this further so let's do it
so this is the way in which the block diagram will be changed if we assume the input r is equals to 0 now you can see that these two blocks g1 and g2 they are in parallel so we can replace them with a single block having the transfer function g1 plus g2 and g3 and h2 they are forming the feedback loop so we can also reduce them so let's apply it we will have here g1 plus g2 feedback loop will be reduced so it will be g3 upon 1 plus g3 h2 here we will have the summing point now these three blocks g1 plus g2 g3 upon 1 plus g3 h2 and minus h1 these three blocks they will come in series so their transfer function will be multiplied so let's see this this minus sign it can be put here so we can only have these transfer function we will consider this minus sign here So we will get the transfer function as G3 H1 minus sign of minus H1 will be here. Now you can see that if we want to find out the ratio C by E then this G4 and this block they are forming a negative feedback loop because here we are having a negative sign and this is forming a loop. So we will apply the feedback rule and try to reduce this loop into a single block having the transfer function as G upon 1 plus GSHS okay this is the forward path gain g and this is the feedback path transfer function okay so c by e will be g4 divided by what we are having in the feedback is this so it will be 1 plus g3 h1 okay so let's solve this okay so this is the ratio of c by e so we have obtained c by r we have obtained c by e now the third ratio which we have to find or the third term which we have to find is the total output and this total output will be equal to c by r plus c by e that is the two ratios which we have find out so just put the values of these ratios that is c by r and c by e so we, you will be able to get the total output C by R was and C by E we have calculated it is this denominator it will come to upward side we have missed it we will get here G3 H2 also okay so we will have G4 1 plus g3 h2 divided by 1 plus g3 h2 so this is our total output okay so in this way we can find out the ratios and uh, also if we are given that you have to find uh, there are two inputs to the control system so you can 
first you will consider first input to be zero and then consider another input to be zero so for both the inputs you can find out the transfer function okay one by one consider them equal to zero and then find their ratios and then add up them so you will get the total output of the system i hope this problem is clear to you thank you